The body of the Palestinian young man was taken out of Malti prison, where he was brought alive. 20-year-old Palestinian Nabil Hassan was detained and arrested on charges of plunder after an argument he had with his two friends at a foreign exchange office where he went to withdraw money on May 29, 2023. Hassan and his two friends, who were sent to Malti prison on May 31st, were subjected to torture and violence by correctional officers. Nabil Hassan died in prison just five days later. On May 29, 2023, 20-year-old Palestinian Nabil Hassan and his two friends, who went to a 24 7 exchange office to withdraw the $400 money they received, were kicked out of the shop by the business owner without paying their money. Thereupon, the surrounding shopkeepers and a plainclothes police officer also participated in the discussion. Police teams arrived at the scene upon the call of the plainclothes police and detained three Palestinian young people and took them to Basak-Sihir police station. Here, three Palestinian young people accused of loot were referred to the Kukikmas Prosecutor's Office and then to the Kukikmas Criminal Court of Peace and were arrested two days after the incident on May 31, 2023 and taken to Maltip No. 3 Altaip Closed Penitentiary Institution. Nabil Hassan, who had his clothes removed in prison, was taken to a room and, according to the accounts of two other Palestinian youths, he was severely beaten by correctional officers for about 10 minutes. The body of the Palestinian young man was taken out of Malti prison, where he was brought alive. 20-year-old Palestinian Nabil Hassan was detained and arrested on charges of plunder after an argument he had with his two friends at a foreign exchange office where he went to withdraw money on May 29, 2023. Hassan and his two friends, who were sent to Malti prison on May 31st, were subjected to torture and violence by correctional officers. Nabil Hassan died in prison just five days later. On May 29, 2023, 20-year-old Palestinian Nabil Hassan and his two friends, who went to a 24 7 exchange office to withdraw the $400 money they received, were kicked out of the shop by the business owner without paying their money. Thereupon, the surrounding shopkeepers and a plainclothes police officer also participated in the discussion. Police teams arrived at the scene upon the call of the plainclothes police and detained three Palestinian young people and took them to Basak Sihir police station. Here, three Palestinian young people accused of loot were referred to the Kukikmas prosecutor's office and then to the Kukikmas criminal court of peace and were arrested two days after the incident on May 31, 2023 and taken to Maltip No. 3 Altaip Closed Penitentiary Institution. Nabil Hassan, who had his clothes removed in prison, was taken to a room and, according to the accounts of two other Palestinian youths, he was severely beaten by correctional officers for about 10 minutes. His friends stated that when they brought Nabil Hassan to them, many parts of his head were swollen and he was semi-conscious, in shock. Similar violence was inflicted onto other Palestinian youths by the same corrections officers in the prison. Nabil Hassan, who suffered from constant pain and discomfort that night and the following days, died suspiciously only five days later, on June 5, 2023, in Maltip Closed Execution Institution No. 3. Just one day after Hazen's death, on June 6, 2023, the Kukikmas Criminal Court of First Instance issued a release decision for three Palestinian young people, including Nabil, on the grounds that according to the evidence in the file, there is no strong suspicion of crime. Despite the decision to release them, two young Palestinians who witnessed the violence Nabil Hassan suffered in prison and were also subjected to this violence were kept in Gunnisley Police Station for a long time and then transferred to Tuzla Repatriation Center. Although the young people who were held here for a long time were released, they were prevented from testifying and testifying about the death of Nabil Hassan. And it was decided that there was no room for prosecution in the file regarding Hazen's death. This decision was appealed by the lawyers of Nabil's parents. He wrote a letter to his father, President Erdogan, saying that as a Palestinian who spent 10 years in Israeli dungeons, he could not be with his child while he was growing up that his child was a child growing up without a father under Israeli oppression, that he took refuge in Turkey with his mother so that he could survive and live freely. But this is terrible in Turkey. 
He said he died due to the incident. Addressing President Erdogan in the letter, the father said, With my heart full of pain, I expect truth and justice from you. According to Nabil Hazan's lawyer Golden Cienmez, some people from Israel called Father Hassan and made fun of him and said, You will end up like this too.